What's up, YouTube? Poor Man Podcast back with another video. Today's video is going to be Kevin Samuels, you all over the place. Make that make sense, all right? Before I get into the video, though, I got to do the YouTube stuff. The goal is 40,000 subscribers by June. It's a crazy goal. It's a big goal, but it's my goal, all right? The only way I'm going to get to my goal is if you give me the HBO special. Do you know what the HBO special is? That's the Help a Brother Out special, all right? So go ahead and help a brother out. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. I'm going to give y'all a second to do that. All right, now let's get to the video. Kevin Samuels, you all over the place. Make that make sense. Let's see what she got to say. Okay, hey, guys. All right, look. So I don't know if many of you know I was on Kevin Samuels. I'm going to put the video link in the description box, and I'm going to put um, the video on the side of me. So I was on Kevin Samuels, and um, I went there to get some advice because, I mean, a lot of people are hooked on him now, and a lot of people are listening to him. So I went and watched a lot of his videos and um, I called in and of course you guys can watch the video and see what happens. But when I called him shallow, what I'm saying is, is like everything he says is on the surface level. So it's about looks, you know, um, what does he say? Fit, intelligent and feminine. Anyway, um, so most people who are plus size are beyond BMI. He's kind of like, um, you need to lose the weight. You need to do this. Of course, I just got through from working out, but I told him I was working on it or whatever, but I didn't call in for me. I called in in regards to my niece and other young women who are watching his show and thinking that they have to be a size four, six, or eight, which is pretty much what he pretty much suggests that women weigh. Um, the average size of the female in the United States is about between a 12 and a 16. So the unre he says many women have unrealistic goals as far as relationships. Um, but in life, you know, we go up, down, people have kids, people don't have kids. Um, oh, okay. And the average salary for a man is 40 grand. But when you hear women usually express what they want, in terms of a long-term relationship and how much they want their partner to make, the goal is 100000 or above. It's usually six figures. Is that realistic? Probably not. Is that still something that people want or women want? Yes. See, men, we don't care. We understand that the game that women have created, and it is a game that women have created, because women have the selective choice of who they want to date or who they will allow, not to date, but who they will allow to have sex, okay? Okay. So women have that ability and men understand that women want a guy that's six feet or above. So we do what we can. I mean, obviously, if you're not born that way, you can compensate with money. So men will work hard to get money. All right. When men will go to the gym to get more athletic, get the more athletic look, because we understand that this is what women want. Unfortunately, when men also have our standards, women get to flip the table. They get to say, no, that's unfair. You can't have that standard because that's unrealistic. I don't understand how weight is unrealistic. How would you being under... That's something you can completely control. Unlike how tall a person is. All right, That's something that no one can control. You can control how much you weigh. So stop trying to... Don't try to flip the table when you find out that men have standards too. All right, For too long have men just said that this is okay. And it's gotten to the point where 80% of black women... In America are overweight or obese and I know Kevin Samuels throws that statistic out all the time and it should be thrown out all the time because even if it isn't to appear attractive to men if that's not your goal you should at least be doing it for yourself okay because you're the one that's going to have to deal with the diabetes you're the one that's gonna have to deal with the heart attacks you're the one that's gonna have to deal with the higher uh, the higher chances of cancer all right, these are all problems that you have to, you're going to have to deal with the self-esteem, regardless of how many times you look in the mirror and say you hate yourself because it's a societal standard. No, it's not a societal standard. It's because you know that you're letting yourself down every time you overeat. Okay, so stop trying to put, stop trying to reflect and put your, your personal shame or how you feel about yourself on society and saying that's how we, we're making you feel. It's okay for people to have standards, men and women, okay? You don't see men trying to knock women for their standards in terms of height. You don't see men trying to knock women for their standards in terms of, in terms of how much they want a man to make. All right. You don't see men complaining when women say they want a guy to be a certain build. We just play the game how it's supposed to be played. Women should do the same.
men have standards. Let's continue the video. I'm going to let it play out for a little bit because the video is eight minutes long. And y'all know I could go on these rants and it could take me forever to get to the end of the video. So let's get back to it. Pretty much trying to say a woman should wear between a size four and an eight is kind of shallow. And then he had a retort and said that because um, I, I make 122, my husband makes about 55 to 65. It varies um, because he has a blinds business. So um, it depends on what happens. But he was like, okay, well, even though my husband doesn't make that, he goes, would you be with your husband if he made $18,000 a year? Or would you stay with your husband if he made $18,000 a year? And I said, yeah, if he was happy because we have a history together and, you know, we have a family that we've both been introduced to and we live our lives together. And he goes, okay, well, if your husband died of a heart attack tomorrow, he keeps moving the goalpost. If your husband had died of a heart attack tomorrow, um, would you go out and get a guy that makes $9 an hour? And I said, no, I wouldn't. And he goes, oh, see, that's shallow. No, Kevin Samuels, that's not shallow. That's impractical. Like, if I clear 122, my family, my nuclear family is used to a certain lifestyle. And there's nothing wrong with a guy making, you know, if he's happy making $9 an hour, or if I grew with him from the point he was making $9 an hour. But like, for me to go after a guy after my husband passes away that makes nine dollars an hour doesn't make any sense at all and okay and um i do agree with her to some extent here uh kevin samuels what people have to understand is he's running a show it's a business all right uh and what he's trying to do is give advice to as many women as he can in a short amount of time so the standard questions that he asks is because he's made a system why is mcdonald's so successful it's because when you go to mcdonald's you understand that it might not be the best food in the world but it's going to be consistent across the board all right uh that's because they have a system and that's what made mcdonald's so able to pump out uh items so quick and make it so that's in, in, it's enjoyable and quick for everybody who wants it Kevin Samuels is also in the entertainment business, all right? And this is a part that a lot of people don't want to understand, but he is also in the entertainment business. Now, is he right with most of his facts? Yes. I would say 99% of the time he's right. But every now and then there will be there will be that uh the 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 uh the round block that's trying to go into the square peg all right you understand what i'm saying you every now and then there'll be a person that doesn't fit the exact description and that's okay because he has a show and he has a system that he has to keep going he has to uh keep it refreshing he has to keep it un uh entertaining and he understands this and that's what has made him super successful so yeah but what he was trying to do was get her to understand that you can say that it's shallow for men to have standards in terms of your weight but generally speaking okay and maybe not in her case it was the same but generally speaking women also have the standard in terms of what they want a man to make so don't try to say a shallow when the man has the standard while women can also have standards okay that's basically what he was getting at and and i completely agree with that notion i uh there i, I always say this i say that looks help you get her as a man looks help you have sex or get in a relationship but money helps you sustain that relationship all right and the same thing goes for women your your looks can help you get in the door uh your looks can help you get laid your looks can help you uh maybe start the relationship but your femininity is what's going to allow you to get to the point where you can get married your agreeableness your uh your your ability to nurture these are things that are going to allow you to get to wife level okay so you can easily become a girlfriend that's not what we're trying to do here i mean for most women they're trying to become wives and your looks are going to get you in the door but your femininity is what's going to sustain that relationship as for men your uh your your looks can get you into the door your height whatever it may be your athletic build but what's going to sustain that relationship is how much you make because because women will definitely have sex with men that make a lot of money and i mean that have the looks but over time they will start to see you differently if you can't provide them with the things that they want and that's just how it works and that's what i do here 
I talk about how things work, okay? I talk about the human nature aspect of this. I don't go and give dating advice. Every now and then I'll throw something in there that I think could that, that could benefit people, but I don't really give dating advice. I just more of talk about the situations that men and women are in and how we can get to the point where we're agreeing with each other again. Because right now, it seems as though women are trying to grab as much power as they can and they're using their vulnerability or their innocence to do so. All right, they're 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 basically saying, "Look at me, I'm the victim. Uh, so bow down to me and help me in any way that I ask, even if it's completely unreasonable." That's what I'm saying. So, but let's get back to the video. I went on that whole rant thing. Let's get back to it. And it's not the fact that I'm shallow. It's just it's just math. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get these women out here to say and that. You can get some good advice from Kevin Samuels. There's a lot of stuff that he says that I agree with. But as far as, you know, trying to be a size, you know, four, six, and eight, uh, when the average size of a female in the United States or in the Western Hemisphere is between a 12 and a 16, I think his goals are unrealistic. Now, there's also things that he says as far as like... um our standards are too high or black women's standards are too high or women's standards are too, a lot of women's standards are too high. And there's average women who should get average men and, Bingo. you know, shouldn't be ashamed of that. And it's not settling. Okay. But then when a woman, a 23 year old woman calls in and she's dating a guy who is, works at either Staples or office max or, does something like that and he wants to go where was your dad and is he guiding you through this and why is he letting you be with this loser so which is it kevin samuels or middle class men making a certain amount of wage okay to date or are they losers like you know you're frowned upon you, you, you a woman called in the other day and she was a teacher's assistant you don't know if she's going to get her teaching degree and become a teacher afterwards but he pretty much blasted her and said, oh, let's just face it, darling. You're just a, a teacher's assistant. Like, totally shitting on her because of her career choice. But then you want to sit there and say, when people go to college, that they're wasting their time. And guys don't care about that. So which is it, Kevin Samuels? You can't have it both ways. You can't sit there and say, oh, women going out and getting these degrees and, you know, waiting to start their dating life when they're prime, you know, baby making years are from this time to this time. But then at the same time, you shitting on the damn woman that is the teacher's assistant. Or um, okay, just to dive into this a little bit, I do understand where she's coming from. Uh, sometimes it can seem a little detached, but there's a lot of men that are in his comment section uh, that believe that they're ever going to be within this range of men that he talks about, this high value man. Um, most of them won't ever be okay and i do have a problem with this i do have a problem with men that don't want to step up and i do see this a lot i do have a problem with men that don't want to step up that don't want to be providers that don't want to take risk but they but they want their woman to cater to their every need okay you're not going to get a 100 percent feminine housewife if you if you're only pulling in 20k a year and she has to also go to work and pull in 30k a year all right, your your expectat your expectations have to be reasonable. All right, um, with 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 getting into a, a woman that's, I I agree with what Kevin Samuels is saying in a sense that he's basically saying, how can you expect a man to make a certain amount of money? You're just a teacher assist uh, assistant. All right, because when when Men, we don't have this problem where we feel like we have to date a person who is quote unquote equal to us all right, or above us. Women have a thing called hypergamy and they believe that the more that or uh, they believe that the more they make, the more their partner should make. OK, so this is why he's saying college doesn't matter. It's because men don't care if you have gone to college or not. Men don't really care, especially the men that you're talking like 
These women are calling in for high value men specifically. So these men don't care about how much money you make. They make plenty of it themselves. They need a person that they can come home to that will have dinner ready, that will arrange for certain events, that will make sure that they're on track on schedule for birthdays. They, you know what I mean? They want some and want something that they can take to the company picnic or the barbecue or whatever the company dinner, whatever it may be. All right. So they don't care about how much or what you went to school for. And the standard is a lot of women, a lot of women have the standard of wanting 100K a year, but they don't know how to become 100K a year woman. You know what I mean? In terms of what these men want from their women. They don't care if you're uh, educated. In fact, that'll probably push them more away because you'll probably be more disagreeable. All right, so that's why he's saying they don't care as far as when you go out and try to go to college and try to get this huge degree and try to make as much money as them. They don't care about that. But let's continue the video. People that are starting out are in retail. It doesn't make any sense. Or the guy who has, you know, um, a 20, 23 to 20, 34 thousand dollar a year job. So like, I, I am so confused. You have to be consistent. It has to make sense because you can't on one end demonize people for dating people with um, lower job positions or, and then turn around and tell high earning females that make six figures that going after the middle class plumber is okay. So I, 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 I can't make it make sense, as Tommy Sotomayor would say. But anyway, that's y'all, that's the guru we got at the moment. So we will see if, you know, he has a Derek Jackson moment. But um we will see. But that was just my opinion. I'm like, you know, it's surface level. And if he wants to get, you know, and it's weird because He's pretty much saying that a woman between the ages of 21 and the prime, 21 to 20, you know, to 32 to 30, should be looking for a man that's like double her age. It's like, I'm sorry, but there's no 22 year old that really wants to go date a, fit, a 45 to 55 year old man. It's See, OK, and and this is where I'm going to end the video, because I'm sure she, she's just going to talk about this for a little bit longer. It uh, sounds like she's about to close up. I will post the video link in the description below. But um, the, the thing about a lot of the complaints that people have is they don't understand that when women call in, they're implying that they want specifically a high value man. What Kevin Samuels does is he pretty much brings them down to earth because a lot of women have this delusion that they're all tens. Why? It's because all they do is go around and preach to each other that we're all tens. We're all tens. Everybody's a ten. You get a ten. You get a ten. All right. This is what they do. So what Kevin Samuels does is he brings them back down to earth and says, you're not a 10, you're a six. That's okay. All right. There are going to be sixes. That's why there's an average. Most people are not are average. And that's why there is an average. All right. So you can go and be with another six. If you're a woman and you make over a hundred thousand dollars a year, that does not move you up or down in the look scale unfortunately men are still visual creatures and if you're only looking for men that are a hundred and a hundred thousand dollars or above now because you're hypergamous you're going to fail in the long run because you can make a hundred thousand dollars if you're not attractive those men are not going to want to date you so having the expectation having that high of an expectation because you make more money isn't valuable to men it isn't relevant to men OK, and especially to high value men. And these are the guys that Kevin Samuels specifically talks about. Are there a lot of men who believe that they're in this category that are not in this category at all? Yeah, I'm sure. Are there a lot of guys who get upset when Kevin Samuels says that your value of a man is based on your income? Yes, because there are a lot of men that don't make that income. Usually people have a problem with the rules when they don't fit the benefiting side of the rules.